Hey, hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ and this highlight video was brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. Semifinals going up on a Tuesday for the first time since 2016. The Millican Rams are a win away from the championship game thanks to an eight game winning streak to finish the season and start the postseason. They are taking on the Dana Hills Dolphins, who have rode a strong defense to the semifinals. And the Rams uh, have the skill to get around Dana Hills. But the beginning of this game looked like the quick cuts from that one shining moment montage at the end of the NCAA tournament. A lot of guys diving on the floor for turnovers as the ball is tipped. Rams looking like they were getting what they wanted offensively, but they just couldn't execute at the bucket. And Dana Hills was more than willing to run out on some of those misses. Griffin Haw gonna pull up here for a jumper to get his huge night started. Haw then from the corner for three, that's buried. Dolphins take an early lead. Kamari Washington trying to get his team back in it, dialed in from three here, and the student section loves it, the old splash zone. Then Washington finds Isaiah Wade at the top of the key. He'll take all three of those, and it's a one-bucket game at the end of the first. Dana Hill's up, 12-10. Second quarter getting started right for the Rams as Donovan Deshea cuts through the lane and the contact for the layup, two of his 14 points. But at the other end, Dana Hills was scoring at will. Ha to his brother, Colin Ha, and this is no laughing matter for Milliken. The Ha Ha's combined for seven three-pointers in the first half, and five of them were from Griffin. Still struggling at the 10 on the other end, the Rams missed a lot of shots from the paint tonight, and again, the Dolphins were ready to run. Griffin Ha going coast to coast here, and he's not stopping. Credit to the Dolphins for not falling in love with the three. They kept attacking the bucket, and they did that on purpose. All part of a 13-2 run that gives Dana Hills a 39-23 lead at the half. Washington took matters into his own hands at the start of the third quarter. The senior said after the game he was looking for fouls in the first half, but in the second half, he just went hip for the Rams on his way to 14 points. Thanks in part to that putback. Then Washington going to kick it out to Eric Benalis from downtown, buries it. This is all part of the 10-0 run that got the Rams right back into this game, and the Howard Lions gym was jumping for a hot minute as the home team got hot. Out of a Dana Hills timeout, Andrew Argeros comes up with a big block, starts his own fast break, and Argeros' journey as he hits the circle button, gets to the lane, two of his 14 points, and the Dana Hills lead is just five, headed to the fourth. But it was a very low-scoring fourth quarter to finish this one out. However, Dana Hills still has hot. And he can dribble it down and hit a three like that. The boisterous pod of Dolphin fans love to see it. A lot of the Milliken possessions here late were a bit helter-skelter as they looked for that big shot from the outside. Milliken did enough on defense to slow Dana Hills down in the final minutes, but again, giving up long offensive rebounds allowed the Dolphins to run the clock down. They had the ball for a full minute late in the game. And the Rams didn't quit, though. Deshea tries to get in the lane, out to Washington, back in there for Deshea, makes it a three-point game with less than 10 seconds to play. Milliken takes a timeout. They need a steal and a bucket, but Dana Hills easily gets it to Ha, and he's going to laugh all the way to the bank, make both free throws, and the Dolphins swim away with a 61-56 win that sends them to the CIF final. Milliken's season, not over, though. They have already qualified for the CIF State Tournament that starts next week, and they are still a team that's won eight of their last nine games, so do not sleep on the Rams. Thanks, as always, to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, and make sure you stick with the 562.org for all of your local sports coverage.